on this video. We've got a bit of a dual purpose on this. I don't know if anybody's seen. I don't know if you've seen me use this. I've not think I've I don't think I've ever used it. Maybe once. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, but it wasn't brilliant, and I couldn't figure out why. And um, this is like uh, an air duct adjuster, so it's forward or back, and that allows more air or less air. So you've got more gas, but it doesn't seem to work that brilliantly, especially outside. When look at the size of the burner. That's my hand. That's the burner. And someone pointed out on one of my channels when I was cooking that the flame, he said, hey mate, your flame's a bit yellow. You need a high but a high pressure valve rather than the low pressure valve that I'm using, which he means is this, which is an adjustable high pressure valve. I can't actually see that myself. Can you see that? I've got my glasses. Sorry. So I think you can get these from naught to six bar. Does that make a bell? Ring a bell, I mean. But anyway, so I'm going to connect this up. I'm going to give it just a bit of a trial because I've got a dual burner, one of these, which I didn't. I wasn't. I was all right with it, and I was impressed. But I thought, surely, you know, you see them, and you can really just. So I've not even tested this yet. I've just connected it to the hose, which is a slightly smaller one. But I've got another one on order with the right size nozzle this side to fit the tube that we've got. So we're going to fire this up and we're going to cook, uh, what are we having, what are we having, a, sticky, a chicken stir fry. Sticking, sticky, sticky, yeah, we can have stickings. So I've got my propane bottle with me, which is only a six kilo one. So we're going to fire it up and see what it cooks like now with this adjuster on it and see if we can get a good bit of flame going, some hot flames. Also, the other one of these I've ordered on this end is now a rubber, so you can actually tighten it by hand. Because when you're doing it like this way, you really have to give it some stick, and it's the opposite thread. Now, let's have a look, get him tight somewhere near, and then. I've not got the right spanner. I'm at the cabin at the moment. Jane's watering and she says, why don't you just do a bit of a easy quick one? So that's what we're doing. Just take this up. Just open it two seconds. I will bring a proper one. There we go. Frying pan's not the best fit on there anyway, that's why I bought a dual burner one, because it's a bit, see, you need a bigger pan for it really. But it'll do for tonight, just for a tester, to see if the high pressure valve makes a difference. Okay, make sure your fuel tank is well away from your cooking facility. It's always good to be safe. Alright. Okay, next is prep time. I'm going to quickly go through this. It's a chicken, a couple of chicken breasts and that. And then we'll stir fry, chuck it all in with a few peas, some celery, and I'll show you that as we go along very quickly. See what I mean? That pan is not the, not the pan, the cooker is not the best. I don't know how I can alter that, I really don't know. Maybe a couple of bolts going through, we'll see. Right, so we'll pause you there for a second, I'll get the meat and everything ready. Wind, maybe. Hmm, not too keen on this one, to be honest with you. That's better. A bit more vum, I think. That's what needed. But it does make a difference. If you can see that. Normally, I'd blow it out by now. 
and you can adjust it. Yeah, it's much much better. So let's see what happens. Let's get this cooking. Can you hear it? <laughs> it never used to do that. Ooh, that's quick. Right, let me get the onions done, and then we'll start with the chicken in as soon as possible. That thing, that is. Get it down a bit. Yeah, that's impressive. Be a bit too fierce, I think. I'll put a bit more oil in there. I think. There we go. The knobs of butter. It's all right, it's working all right actually. It's, uh, you have to be careful, it's a bit fierce at first, but on a windy day, you have to uh, just be ultra vigilant because if you blow it out, I think it ignites in the tube, which is all right, but turn it off. Okay, got let that cook through. I'm going to put the um, mix in a minute and then some peas and then just let it simmer in and cook away for about 10 minutes and we're done. Very quick. Making sure the chicken's well done and then we're going to start adding the um, mix, the uh, stir fry. Not really stir fry. Right, I think we need a bigger pan, but we'll have to do for now. Does that look beautiful? Just done the usual. Things watering. There she is. All the new trees. I don't know how many she's got so far, but we're, I think we're close on 600, 550, something like that. Uh, and there's my tank, look. Look how far we're up at the moment. That's, I think that's quarter of the way. 250 litres? No, it isn't, is it? Not quite, is it? I don't think so. I'm just trying to work it out now. It's got one and a half. One and a half. No, it's not quite, is it? No. I'd say about 200 litres, that is. Maybe just under. Yeah, I would say that's... I don't know. Oh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. 
it's just uh, <laughs> each time we come each time I bring an extra hundred liters or whatever it is all right let's get back to the cooking one more ingredient and uh, I'll go and fetch there we are chili sauce it's not that hot so stir that in and I think we're not far off so all in all good cooker recommend uh, if I can remember the link I had, I'll put that in the description down below. I'll give Jane a shake in a second. Look at that. I'm not going to eat all this, take some over. I think that's it. I'll just pause it there, give her a shake. Okay, we'll just give her a shake, we'll turn this off. Put this on the side, keep it warm. You're coming too. Make sure we turn the gas off. That's it. Okay, wind's picking up. Still a beautiful evening. Beautiful. So I've got it just sitting on the cooker internally on my new to simmer. And I'm going to start dishing it now. Plates are over there. New cupboard. You might see that. There you go. When we've finished all this, I'll give it, I'll show you around. It's all going to be different, but yeah, we're going to do a couple of overnighters. Hopefully, I want to try and do a couple of overnighters with the tent I've got and the bivy. So watch out for them. They'll be coming soon. Yeah. Right. Let's dish. Just for a dish, I'm going to put the kettle on. Not for the cupper, just so I can swill everything down after it, especially the, uh, the board. I don't, it's not because I'm over fussy, I'm not. Um, it's just the fact that when you're cooking chicken, well, my daughter goes mad with me. And, sorry, let's get you in focus. And two, because it's a shed, cabin, we're going to call it, I don't want to encourage mice or vermin or anything, so I make sure everything's sterile. I'll wash everything down, including the plates, and that's why one of the reasons the shower, which we'll be doing a video. You've all seen it, but I want to get it up and running now in the cabin so we've got hot water at our disposal, which is what I want as well. Oh, yeah, right, that's heavy. anybody feeling a bit peckish right now you are just I tell you what everybody says this but if you had smelly vision or smelly video that's Jane this is really nice really really nice you alright? yeah sit outside yeah you want to sit outside it's a bit warm yeah do you know what I'm going to have to say this to Andy Andy is 21 in here it was 25 when I came here before <laughs> there we go um, just zoom in for you Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, give it a taste test. We know what it's going to say because I say it to everyone. Oh. Oh, it's revolting. I like chorizos. Okay, if you enjoyed the vid. Chorizos. Oh, isn't it? It's chorizo, isn't it? If you enjoyed the vid, give it a thumbs up. Um, I think where it is now. I think it's this side is the subscribe button and the notification bell. When upcoming videos is on this side or ones I've already done, I'll put your link to either part two or it's not part two on this one. Um, yeah, so shower to come, bivvies, camping in the woods, all this hopefully. Take care. Uh, it's what day is it? V not VD, what? Victory Day today, <laughs> isn't it? What? Not VD Day. VE -E Day. VE Day. Hope you enjoy and celebrate. On VE Day. 
Don't drink too much. Take care. We're going to do it. Bye.